Hi guys, so today I'm really excited to show you this new animation I've been working on for this services section. So we're going to be animating the text. Um, the color is going to change when the animation starts. We're going to animate this color div block and the image is going to slide up as well. And you can use this for like, um, for like different projects or different services like hair salon, spa, whatever so many different ways. I just think it looks super clean and nice. Okay, so let's see how we do this. Um, so here I have my grid. This is, okay, I'm gonna close this first. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have my grid over here. Call this grid div wrapper relative. So yes, it's important to set it to the position to relative, first of all. And then we're going to set our overflow to hidden as well. I set my width to 100%. And these are my other settings <clears throat> for this grid. Inside the grid, I have a div block inside each um, row. And there's five rows. So here's my grid. And as you guys can see, there is one, two, three, four, five um div blocks inside each row so this is my div block it's also set to relative which is important and i also set the overflow to hidden um the width is again 100 percent, and these are my other settings inside this div block i placed my color div this is um, the div block that's going to be with the color. <laughs> We're going to set the background to black or whatever other color you prefer. And then this is the size 100 VW and the height is 75 pixels. The position for this div is absolute. And then I set my Z index to minus one. Okay, looks good. Okay, and these are the other settings just in case. Inside this div that's inside the row, in each row there is the same div. So make sure to apply the same class to all of them. I have my heading. Um, it's pretty simple, like nothing crazy about this heading. It's set to static just by default. And then what else? Um, I just really like this. Okay, letter space in this 10 pixels because I like them kind of wide. Uh, the letters and the typography, the font is Montserrat or whatever it's pronounced, and this is the way 200. Okay, so other than that, I also have a one pixel div inside. It's this divider. I just call it one pixel div. The width is at 100, I mean 600 pixels, and the height is one pixel. Yeah, and other than that, nothing special about this div. Um, okay, yeah, I just have two, so this is like one of the divs, I have color div, then I have the heading under it, and then I have one pixel div under it, and then here again I have color div, the heading, and one pixel div. Now, um, about the images, I honestly <laughs> just randomly placed them outside the div they got to be outside our divs so as you can see this is my one of my images right here and then i just manually like adjusted adjusted its uh, spacing so that it's placed like in the middle of this line of this row so it's like sitting on the in the middle of it in the center and these are this is the size <laughs> for my uh, image 300 pixels and max width is 100%. The Z index is also at one, and then I set my position to absolute. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, just um, yeah, I randomly placed it like inside the grid but outside the div blocks, and then I set the position to absolute and the Z index so it's like over the color divs, not underneath. Okay, so I think we are good to go to get started. So I'm just gonna grab this, this one. So all of them, 
all of the divs are gonna have um, a separate animation for them so I just what I did is pretty much I created one animation and then I created a copy of it <laughs> and then I um, tweaked something inside and like I adjusted it a little bit for each so for example why we're gonna do this is because for some reason the text it doesn't allow me to apply the class for it and you have to do it like separately on each element so this is what I did here this is on the grid div wrapper on the effect is set to interaction trigger set as initial state pretty easy uh, then I have my image that I'm gonna be using for this div block so DND image that's design and development image um, that is set to class okay that's good set as initial state uh, just drag your opacity down to zero okay and then still animating the same image again class um, affect the set on class then we have all right then we have the set to initial state as well and this is our initial state it's at 105 pixels over here then we're gonna grab our color div color div is this um i showed you guys it's this color div pretty much that's um you just select the color that you want okay so when we grab when we create this action for move for this color div we move it minus 75 pixels over here so we drag it up so it's going to slide down and here it's going to be invisible so the opacity is going to be at a zero at this initial timeline so we're that's why we're not able to see it mm. then we're going to grab our text yeah for some reason like yeah when you do it when you do it as a class which would be way easier like way easier <laughs> that just doesn't work i tried it it just doesn't work for me so i did it as a selected element and that's why i had to do like five different ones i just copied it copied it created a duplicate and then just um these all remain the same except the image <laughs> and because they're different the class is different also and uh yeah i just had to do a different selected element for this one for each different one okay anyways <laughs> the color is on white um this is set as initial state as well and when yeah when you guys select this as initial state they're all going to be grouped together that's great now these ones when you create a new one like let's say move right it's separate like this we're gonna ha have to grab and drag all of these five together so I'm just showing this an example don't do this <laughs> yeah this just happened but um, yeah so just make sure you drag them in the same time frame but we don't need this one so I'm just gonna delete it mm. where is it just want to make sure I didn't delete the wrong one okay yeah I'm just gonna go back okay perfect yeah so for this one we're gonna do a new interaction trigger for our grid div wrapper relative um, it's a move action um, these are the settings the duration 0 15 0 0.15 the easing is online linear okay so it just like default settings really then we're gonna animate our image again we're gonna click on our image the same image it's a move action these are the settings the duration is on 0 0.5 easing is on linear make sure to click this to zero so it turns blue like don't just keep it you you have to do this like click this on zero enter so it, it gets blue okay mm, so yeah the next action is going to be for the image again um, create an opacity action it's on glass or selected element doesn't really matter because each image will have a different class <laughs> um, yeah because they're not going to be animated like the same way they're from different sides okay um, the duration 0.5 easings on linear opacities and 100 percent 
The next one is our color div. Um, 0 0.15 for duration, easy and linear. Again, they're all in linear, so nothing special, 100% opacity. And now we're going to move it to 0. So the color div action move, the, the class is affected. And make sure that all of these last ones, so not these first, but all of these last ones, um, start with previous section. And that way they will be grouped together like this. We don't want like different times over here. Okay, so this is on zero. Cool, great. Um, now our heading. Uh, this time our typography is set to white. The text color is set to white. This is duration 0 0.5. Mm. Okay, yeah, so just make sure to drag them all together. This is not initial state, but they all start with, okay, they all start with previous action, as you can see. These are all set as initial state, that's why you don't have to set that, but since these are not, you have to set it as start with previous action. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is our um, ultimate hover one animation. Um, this is just an animation on hover. We'll also, let's preview this. We can even preview this. Great. Looks good. Ah, okay, perfect. Now we need to create our hover out animation. And this is what I have right here. Um, let's see what it looks like. So we have our grid div wrapper relative. <laughs> Um, set an interaction trigger. This is not set as initial state since it's a hover out animation. So none of these are going to be set as initial state. We have easy and same and linear and duration 0 0.15. Then we have our um, image for this div block. Again, the opacity, it's an opacity action. The opacity is set to 0% and then the duration 0 0.5. Then we have the same image. We move it 105 pixels. It's a move action. Okay, so now we have our color div. It's a move action. We drag it minus 75 pixels. The duration is 0 0.15. And these all start with previous action. Also important to note, they're all grouped together. So if something goes wrong and you guys don't have them grouped together, just drag them in the same timeline and then let's set the duration. So, yeah, it doesn't adjust the time when you drag it. Okay, so the color div right here, it's an opacity action. We drag the opacity down to zero and set our duration to 0 0.15. And then we have our heading to text color. This is our text color action. So, yeah, this is just... Okay, no, never mind. Why did I do that? Okay, whatever. Um, text color, duration 0 0.5, and then... Our typography is set to black and that's good so yeah this is how you guys do this first let's preview this perfectly goes back to white <laughs> okay so this is how you guys do this um, first div block for all the other ones what you guys are gonna do is you are just gonna create like duplicate pretty much duplicate this um, original animation hopefully <laughs> you won't be as confusing with your naming as me but you just create this copy and then you go inside and you just um, delete this image for example and do the same action with the selected image that you want for that div block um, and do you do the same thing with the heading since it's set on selected element. So you have to manually select the right heading, the heading that you need, and create this animation. Okay, and for the hover out, you do the same thing. So you just duplicate it, um, this animation, and then you delete this image action, 
you create the same exact one with the right image selected and same for the text okay that's it pretty much thank you guys so much for watching this and i will be creating new animations and new videos so please watch them i'll be really happy